I mean, sometimes you got to find a way, and, and uh, I thought our, our defensive effort was good. Just, you know, take the third quarter out. I thought, I thought overall our defense was much, much better. After how Wednesday ended, how happy were you for, for Kyrie hitting the big shots and emotional after his first Yeah, that was a heck of a step back he hit on, on the right side. It was, it was some shot. Um, um, yeah, happy, happy for him. I, th I thought he played really well again, really well. After uh, some of the issues that the bench had in the first game, I mean, was it encouraging to see them bounce back a little bit in this game? Spencer? Yeah, I think we tweaked some minutes there, subtle tweaks. I, you know, but it, it's more the guys playing well. I thought Rody snapped out of it. Um, I thought he played well. Nawaba was good again, solid. Uh, I thought DeAndre, I thought DeAndre was really good. So great, you know, really good job by the bench. Uh, what was your thinking? I think Lebert didn't play much down the stretch. Uh, I just felt comfortable with Spencer, and more from a defensive standpoint. I thought, you know, Spencer is one of our. Our, our, our better defenders, um, so I just, just just felt it when, when, when we went with our gut. Uh, Coach, earlier into training camp, you said that you wanted Torian to take the responsibility of being the team's defensive stopper. Uh, what did you think of the way he competed out there tonight? I, I thought he did a heck of a job with his post defense, and and uh, you know he, he's not six eleven, but he's he's pretty strong, and and uh, did a you know that was one of our current concerns coming in here with with Randall and Portis, how strong they were. Uh, they post us up, but I, I, I thought he led the, led the charge with his post defense. Kenny, how do you balance coaching toughness and grit without racking up 26 personal fouls? No, we have to. Uh, <laughs> how should I say this? There's a lot we have to work on. Just from a, uh, a, 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 I thought there were a lot of mental mistakes, a lot of a lot of silly fouls, um, a lot of. You know, general breakdowns that, that happen in the middle of the season, but it almost almost cost us. Uh, you know, e even though we won the game, we will we'll have another long film session to look at look at all the mistakes we made. We made a lot. Kenny, when you guys had that big run at the end of the first quarter into the second, I think you had Lavert playing alongside Dinwiddie. What would you like about that combo in the backcourt and what made it work so well? We looked at the numbers and saw those two play pretty well together. Um, you know, uh, so that was that was a little bit the thought process. You know, take Karras out earlier, uh, and then bring him bring him in at the second. Uh, you know, at the end of the first, and then um, they're a good combo together. When you uh, you know, 17 for 25 from three point range tonight for the Knicks. Uh, are you having issues? You know, just covering the three point line. Do you think? I'm just glad we didn't give up 50 attempts like, like we normally do this season. So, <laughs> listen, they shot the lights out of it. I, I, I do look at the attempts over the makes. I mean, um, there's some guys we, we cheat off of, and, and you, you live with those, those trees. But uh, give them credit. They, they did a heck of a uh, job shooting the ball. Uh, but I'm, again, uh, more pleased we didn't give up a lot of attempts tonight.